All right, look, we are recording. Yay! Y'all on there. Way hello, everybody. Hello. So good to see everybody. <laughs> Logan Lee. She's like, don't mess with me. All right, y'all. I'm so glad y'all are here tonight. It is January, which of course means beginnings, new, 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 new resolutions, new thoughts, new habits, new things we want to accomplish, right? All right, so I have a note on here to introduce guests. There's no guest. No guest, but we do have a first timer. <laughs> Yay! We do have a first, first timer. as a consultant. She's been at the house one time. Um, that's right. By um, Zoom call one time. Yes, she that's right. You did come as a, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. Well, we're so happy you're here. Very, very happy. Congrats. Congrats. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that doesn't make Y'all, Pam's daughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing with her because um, I can, because um, I just love her. I think she's precious. But Pam's daughter, um, I've known for a long time that she needed to be on this team. Oh. She loves Pampered Chef, and um, she has almost everything that there is to own. Um, so I knew she'd be a natural at this because her mom, of course, is amazing at it. And I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, they've got to be similar. So, yeah. Congrats, and I'm, I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> Very glad you're here. All right, so what I wanted to adopt um, for the first 10 minutes or so, um, less if we can, um, is I want to adopt good news because I want our team trainings to always be about good things, good habits, good news, good tips, and things like that. Very positive. And so what I want to do for the next is share good news. Anything that's going on with you that is good news, if you've ever called into a coffee talk call, you send me a post about those. Um, if you've ever called into one, the first few minutes are good news. Hello, Nicole. So good to see you. So Hi, Erin. She's on the opposite. She can hear me. Can you out there? Yay. Hey, Erin. So the, for the first 10 minutes, we are going to talk about good news. What's going on with you? Whether it be personal or business, we want to share good news and get our, get our training off to a good start. So who wants to go first? This is good news. Okay. Good news. Yes. Good news is. Allison signed up Woo and started a party before she even got her kit. Woo -hoo -hoo! I like that. Now that is good news. <laughs> that was very good. How's it going so far? Uh, no one's ordered yet. That's okay. Yes. That's okay. But we have to open the box. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And you're going to make some final plugs, and it's going to be good. It's mm -hmm. going to be good. All right. Who else? Like a party. Oh, they all buy the last day. Okay. <laughs> congrats, congrats. I love it. All right, who else has got some good news? I know somebody on here has got good news. I know we've all got good news. Who wants to share? I know Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> I go? Is it my turn? <laughs> it's your turn, my love. Um, my good news is that I have a director on my team named Sue Machado, and a lot of her team has committed to going to national conference this week, so that's huge. That's great. Um, Right? And then another piece of good news is that I was at a party on Sunday and I was able to find two people that needed this business at that party and they've already signed up and they've scheduled grand openings. They've already started their trainings. It is a beautiful thing. So Great. I'm happy. <laughs> Congrats to you. That's well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yay. Hey, Melissa, how are you, my dear? So good to see you. Hello. <laughs> All right, who else has some good news? That's some good stuff. I'm, I'm liking all this good news. I am. Oh, yay! Congrats! Sandra's daughter is expecting a second baby. Yay! That is so good. I love that. Very good, Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. We like grandma. As long as it's somebody else. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You just hang on, Jasmine. You got time, sister. You got plenty she of time. She knows. Yeah. She knows. She knows. She knows. Good. All right. Who else has got good news? Anybody? Mm -hmm. I have good news. Yeah. I signed somebody last Wednesday. Ooh. Yes, you did. First one on my way to you know, 6,000. Yeah. Yeah. When they qualify. Yes. Yeah. You sign somebody and they qualify and they're first. Aaron, I'm going to catch you. 
Christina, yeah. can you mute everybody? Can you mute everybody? Not everybody's muted. And it's hard to hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, if y'all can mute yourselves, if you have any background noise, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start looking at offering the business opportunity as offering joy, opportunity, and blessings. We never know where someone might need to find a little joy. Maybe they are struggling with life. Maybe they're um, having a really hard time in their jobs. Maybe they're having a really hard time at home, and they just need an escape. They need something to be joyful about. And maybe other people just need an opportunity for change. Maybe they need... Um, a new career, maybe they need extra money, and this is the opportunity to do just that. But what all of this will turn into is a huge blessing, because most of us will find that when we are doing all of this stuff and we are serving others, it actually ends up being a huge, huge blessing. So that's what we are going to talk about tonight for a little bit. So what is the, and Lisa kind of spilled the beans a little bit, if y'all didn't already know. What is the incentive for new consulting? What's it? You want to know, my love? Does it have price? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kind of. I kind of spilled it, but not totally. Not totally, but we yeah. need this. We yeah. all should know this. I know. I mean, I read my book or whatever. Woo! Email system. All right. So fifty percent rebate. All right. So what? does a new consultant have to do in order to earn the rebate? Anybody can chime in yeah. here or in here. $1,250 in a month. 30 days. 30 days. And your 30 days doesn't start until you get your kit. That Ooh. right there to me is huge because you have like an extra five days built in to get sales like on a virtual party and to book up shows. So used when to did, it. When, when did you send it? Yes, she did. So you've yes, been getting the emails? Good. 
in your So they only have 30 days from when they get the check yeah. to do to the 1250. To get the but rebate. But you can sell the 1250 over a Jasmine, longer than that. Jasmine signed so up. Yeah, they get. Right. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking oh, about the qualification. Like yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. you sell the 1250, I don't know. It's probably changed now. Yeah. But it was the old logo. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new logo. So, like, it's new. Yes. So, what is in it for us this month to. I wasn't done with my question, but that's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you are right. We get extra points. So traditionally, when we have a new consultant on our team, we get how many points? What's the trick? We get 3,000. But when they, yes, it's all about the fine print system. Um, when, when they do that this month and they... Um, submit their 1250 in their first 30 days, we get not here, but we get <gasps> Y'all, just think about this. <laughs> Aaron's like, yes! <laughs> um, just think about this. A lot of folks um, were, you know, maybe halfway to a trip this time. I was here. So this would have been huge for you. And let me just tell you, y'all, they have not done double points for us in, in a long, long time. I'm talking a year. Yeah. So this right That's here huge. that they are doing for us is going to be monumental for us this season. If you want to earn a trip with the camper ship, this is how you're going to do it. You're going well, to you rack up. Trip this year. Oh, I am. You're totally going to rack up this month. Okay? So. It's not just about points for us, though. So when they join as a brand new consultant, they get so many rewards. They get all mm -hmm. kinds of new consultant benefits and things like that, which your mama would love. <laughs> your mama racked up on them, <laughs> absolutely. And so being a new consultant is phenomenal. I love our new consultant reward. Um, they're unparalleled, that's for sure. But as a recruiter also, Having new team members join your team is more than just the money. It really is. It's about having someone fun to work with. I loved it. When I first met you, I knew. I was like, we've got something. There's something there that I would love to expand on a little bit more, figure out a little bit more, and know more about her. And I knew you'd be an amazing consultant, and you are. You're phenomenal. And so I'm proud to have you. And it's all about having those connections with other people on the team. It's about serving other people. And so to me, what I'm actually talking about, it's the biggest blessing. When I see other people realize their dreams, realize their visions and goals when they join Camper Chef. To me, it's just, it's amazing. And you're gonna find out the same thing. So what I wanna do really quickly is get real about recruiting, okay? I wanna show you what kind of impact you guys have other people this past year okay so we will be setting a goal this year um, for our team as far as adding new team members we call it share the love so we'll be making a new share the love board I didn't bring it down for some reason um, but this year we'll be having a new share the love board okay our goal was to share the love with 120 new team members um, because we had added like Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like 50 something last yeah. year in 2016. And so I was like, oh, you know what? With as many people as we added, we could double this. We really could. And so I shot to the moon <laughs> and I dictated the goal, which I should have asked you guys what you wanted the goal to be. So last year, our goal was 120 for 2017. I will tell you this we didn't meet that goal, but that's okay. Because I don't want to celebrate what we did do, which was huge beyond any of my imagination. I couldn't imagine that we would do this well. What kind of guess do y'all have? Y'all, 
y'all, we shared and possibly changed 79 lives in who knows how long. That's what I want y'all to think about. To me, this is not 79 recruits. This is 79 lives. These are 79 beautiful people, guys and girls, women and men, 18-year-olds and up, learning a little bit more about Pamper Chef and realizing their dreams. Okay? 79 people. And so our goal for 2018, if we added this many, no, I'm not going to say we're going to go for 160 by no means, but let's think realistically. How many? These are consultants that joined our team this past year. And this includes all of the director's team. This includes my personal team. This includes everybody. So what do y'all think? What should we shoot for for 2018? Okay, Pam says at least 100. Nicole agrees at least 100. Aaron? Um, how many people are on the team? That are on it right now? Yeah, that's going to impact my number. <laughs> okay, we are sitting at like, it's like a hundred ish. A hundred ish? Yeah. We need to at least, everybody needs to at least bring one more person on. We're going triple digits this year, people. <laughs> okay. That's like, <sighs> okay. Y'all, if everybody brings one. Everybody just bring one. <laughs> okay, so let's, all right, let's settle on a number then. Nicole says at least 100. Pam says at least 100. Aaron is cracking up at me because I'm fanning myself. All right. Lisa, what, what'd you say? I know. Y'all are freaking me out. All right, go 100. 100? Aaron wants me to bump it up. How about I'm a Emily? Scared of that. Emily, yes. Emily, what are you saying? I right, am. <laughs> One ten. Okay. Don't stretch it, it ain't real, right? That's only 31 more than what we did this year. Right? Mm -hmm. That's half those people bringing one person in. Okay. Yeah? Y'all good with that? Okay, well, we'll have a huge celebration <laughs> when we meet that one. Well, we're well on our way, that's for sure, because we've added two, four, five, Six. Yeah, she was. She was the first one of the year. I think we've added six so far this month on the team. So that's it's always the end. Yeah, exactly. It's the only only the eight. Okay, y'all. 110 is our new goal. Oh! Lordy, lordy, lordy. Like a day almost. Yeah. Okay, that kind of scares me. All right, so here we go. Yeah, we could have three hundred and sixty. Yes, we all do. All right, so what? is recruiting. What do y'all think of, in all honesty, this is where we're going to get real about recruiting for a minute. What is recruiting to y'all? What do you think of, whether it be positive or negative? What do you think of when you hear recruiting? Or when you think about offering the business? Well, that's what I think of. Yeah. Think you're scary. Well, I've never recruited anybody before. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Who's scared? Seriously, who is scared? Anybody there or in here? Scared? Anybody scared to offer? <laughs> no? 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 
Nobody's scared? Oh, I, I like it. <laughs> I like that nobody is scared. This is a good thing. Y'all, I totally had it in my brain that some of y'all were going to be scared and we were really going to talk about the fears. And I am so proud of y'all. So they're not scared. This is a good thing. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, okay. So there, instead of anybody being scared, is there anybody at your shows or when you meet someone or wherever, um, virtual parties or whatever, who is a little like prejudgy? Anybody go, eh, nah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have been. Get ready. I have been. I've been a little prejudgy. I'll admit it. I really have. I like to think I offer to everybody, but I don't always. Don't always, but I've started lately really offering to literally everybody everybody because i think everybody deserves it doggone it they deserve the benefits and blessings that we have all right so let's talk about let's list a couple more reasons what recruiting really means or not reasons but things that we yeah, think of when we think of recruiting or, or share opportunity opportunity aaron what you got um it's part of our job it's what we do It's also part of our host rewards package. Bingo. Bingo. If y'all would start, Erin really opened up my eyes and ears one day when she was talking to me about this. And I started changing my lingo when it came to host coaching because literally we have a host benefits package. We have all kinds of benefits that are available to you as a hostess. And so if we are not offering up every single benefit in that package. Oh, if we're not offering up every single piece of the host benefits package, someone could feel left out. What if we didn't offer to, let's say Nicole was our hostess, and what if we didn't offer it to her? It was part of her benefits package. We didn't offer it to her. She goes to Susie Joe's show, one of her girlfriends that booked off of her, Let's say I offered it to Susie Joe, but not to her. She'd be like, I didn't know that was one of the benefits that I could use 25 or $50 of my free product value toward the kit. I would have loved that because I could really use some money. You know? What if she said that? Y'all, that would be ridiculously crazy. So, shame on me. She could totally call her home office and be like, that consultant of mine. She didn't tell me about this, and I would have told you to take advantage of it. So what I've given y'all is something you can download and print from Consultants Corner. This is a kit credit coupon. There's three to a page, okay? This should be in every single host packet you give out at a show or mail to a host. This thing right here, and it should be touched on. It should be offered every single time to every single host at least offer because we never ever know who in the world needs this opportunity and what if we didn't offer it y'all seriously think about it what if they were lying in bed the night before wondering how in the name of goodness what if they're on a virtual party let's say they're host of a virtual party and they go man i hope my internet don't get cut off tomorrow i couldn't pay my bill holy cannoli you know what if we didn't hey sister sue Sorry, no you're totally fine well, come on in so, you know, we have the right and obligation to offer to every single person every single time. Yes, ma'am, Erin. Um, I just want to say, if you're too chicken to use those kit credit coupons and you think you won't have the, the guts to offer the coupon, put a little sticky note or a little label on there that says, ask me about this kit and you get a free prize. Or ask me about this coupon and you get a free prize. So now the ball's in their court to ask you what that coupon means. And you don't have to feel like you have to come up with the guts to talk about it. Why not? It opens the line of communication. Love that, Erin. Thank you. All right. So what are some common reasons why people do not offer the business opportunity? That's what you're scared. 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 Some other reasons why prejudging, prejudging. Let's expand on that. What are we prejudging okay. about? Business report. Business. Right. Yeah. Is it 
Absolutely just, sure. <laughs> just absolutely sure. <laughs> what I, I actually told somebody one time who sat down with me and said well my friends won't buy you know they don't have no money and I said I said all you can say is you and I don't know what's in their bank, bank account do we well we don't know if they can afford a ten dollar or a, at that time it was a ten dollar mix and drop or twenty dollar brownie pan what if they really can
spark connection with other women in the group. We need the friendship. Um, and those bonds. And so that's why I get to be that friend. So that's why I get to be that friend. I can hold it and always award it to my friend in a big bad way. I've always prayed for a sibling. I've always wanted to pray for that. And it's eight years above me. Six years older than me. He's mean as fire. Um, or he was. He used to hold me down and beat me. And I mean, it was just awful. Awful. <laughs> mean older brother. Hey, Lauren. I see you, sweet baby. So, yes. My reason for starting was friendship. And like I said, I always prayed for friendship. The Lord answered my prayer in the weirdest, wildest way that I could never imagine in my life. Because I have to be friends with all of you. All of you. So, every single one of y'all are my sisters. And so, the Lord really answered my prayer from Washington State to Florida to Maine, to Massachusetts, to New York, to everywhere, right here in South Carolina, where I never thought I would be back here. Um, I lived here for two years with my kids in the summertime, and so I never thought I'd be back here, but here I am with a whole group of sisters. So I got it! We have a few brothers on the team. <laughs> They're not on here tonight, so I could talk sister talk to all of you. You never know, it could be time to go to a leader group and start to see the group. You never know. Life change. Exactly. Exactly, it is life change. Life changing lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. Changing lives, y'all. Changing lives. One life at a time. Okay. So, we have our goal. We have what it means to recruit, what we think of. We got the reasons why some people don't, which we're not even going to think about anymore. <laughs> we're not even doing that. But here's the reasons why we should. Some of the cool benefits of that. So, how would y'all, keeping in mind of what the incentive is this month, for new consultants, as awesome as that is, we should be sharing with God and everybody. And the incentive for you all, for 6,000 grit points, how would y'all like a little bonus gift? How would y'all like an incentive? I kind of alluded to one on the team page, didn't I? Aaron's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the directors know what I'm about to do. Okay? So, I alluded to the fact that I would have a little incentive for y'all. Here's my incentive. In my personal team, and each director is going to be doing this with their teams as well, so if you're on Lisa's team, Emily's team, um, Sue's team, or Aaron's team, this applies to everybody. Whoever is in each team the top recruiter for the month of January gets a very, very, very special prize. Now you know, well most of y'all know, and some of you may not know, but the theme of our team is a galaxy of stars. Starfish. Okay, that's our little logo thing. We we do everything with starfish. It's just super fun, super cute. And the reason why it's a galaxy because a grouping of starfish is actually called a galaxy. You can look it up in Google. Really cool. My husband came up with it. It's phenomenal. Because he helped me come up with the theme of the team. And so the theme of our team is Galaxy of Stars, Starfish. So whoever is our top recruiter is getting something super, super special. Okay? So for my personal team and for Lisa's personal team and Emily's personal team and Aaron's personal team and Sue's personal team, how about a Simply Southern Starfish duffel bag? <laughs> ah! I love this thing so much. Okay? So whether you have never recruited before, whether you've recruited once before, or you've recruited a bunch, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, okay? Whoever our top recruiter is in each personal team will each get one. Y'all, this is an exclusive thing just for our team. This is not the most adorable thing ever. When I saw this the other day, I was like, yep, that's it. I was looking for some kind of incentive to reward somebody with, and it was funny because when I was checking out the lady, she said, would you like it monogrammed? And I said, yeah, but I don't know who for yet. She said, excuse me? I said, well, it's an incentive for my team, and I don't know who's going to earn it yet. So can I send them back to have it monogrammed? She's like, oh, sure. Like, okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have it monogrammed for you if you want it monogrammed. Y'all, but it's got a strap. It's got everything. It's just phenomenal. So, yeah, the top recruiter on our team. Oh, it's got little feet, too, y'all. Feet. Okay? <laughs> I like the feet because it keeps it up off the ground. <laughs> Nicole, isn't that cute? I see you smiling in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole likes things like that, like I do, so super cute. So, yeah, whoever the top recruiter is. Now, here's the thing. The first thing I know, because I've been in 
every single one of y'all's shoes. The first thing that I know that comes into some people's mind is, oh my gosh, that's so cute. But, oh yeah, that's so cute. You knock yourself out of the game before you even get in the game, before you even get up to bat. Okay? So what I want y'all to do is flick that negativity off now. And if you have to manually do it, go ahead. Um, yeah, go on and flick your manual flick off. Um, flick that little negativity off. And what I want you to think of is these words. I want them to echo in your brain. Why not me? Why not? Why could not be the best recruiter on the team in the in top in the top recruiter in January? Why not? Why not me? Why not? So why not? Why not you? Why not every single one of y'all? I don't mind if y'all are tired. I don't mind going to get another one. I really don't. I'll go get two or three. I don't really care. Didn't have a, you know, I really don't care. I will totally reward all of you. So one thing that I do want to know, um, want to recognize and talk about really quickly too, is when we're adding people to our team, most of the time we end up getting a promotion. Okay? So you're about to be promoted to senior level. Your crew chief's in this 150, and you've got your 150 in. You have a promotion coming your way with override. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Extra commission's always fun. Yeah. Pam just learned that she's going to be getting promoted here very soon. <laughs> yeah. Promotions are really cool. So we have a handful of senior consultants on the team. We are always hoping and gearing everybody up to other promotions. And so one of the things we're really going to be doing is fishing for leaders. If you want to be a leader, if you desire to be a leader, then we want to help you do just that. Okay? So that's just kind of like what I like. And so be looking for more information about that coming up soon. Because um, we're really going to be talking a lot about the team leader role. So do y'all know what the qualifications are for team leader? Two personal skills. Two recruits. Two personal team members, and yes. Two personal recruits. And then your sales rep is plus one. 750 for your personal. And as a team, including yours, 2500 Okay? So... Those things all come into place like a little recipe, and all of the ingredients are there, then you have a promotion. And you'll also get an override. You'll get a 2% override on your sales and your team sales. Okay. So that's like the next big step in leadership, okay? I think oftentimes, directorship looks a little scary, and so we want to make sure that we're helping you not to be scary, okay? We want to ease you into leadership. Best way that we know how. They don't have to be your own personal recruit. So for team leader, let's go ahead and clarify that. They have to be your two personal team members. You have to have personally recruited those two people. Okay? So that's in order to promote the team leader. All right. So, sound good? Y'all like that incentive? You like the bag? All right. So we have two more little things to do. So what I would like for Lisa to do, she is going to talk to us really quickly about the host special this month. <laughs> and about who's got the calendar filled, who doesn't, who wants it filled. I know we all want it filled, right? <laughs> filled. We yeah. all want it filled. Yeah. Right here. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. This month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Okay. Y'all can take a seat. I don't know what I'm doing. Just walk up because I hate going and passing around. Oh, partly. And what I'm passing around is a, a flyer that's something about booking, better booking the funnel. And the other thing is ideas of where to find it. So who has a full calendar this month? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Okay, Erin. Yeah, we know. We know. Well, who has had this happen this month? You have booking. You have host coach them at least once. And then they say, oh, I need to move it to February. Two of those happen this month. So I need to book two more for this month, right? So what we're going to do is how many people do you think it's going to take to get one booking? How many do you have to have? Three? Seven. How many? Five? Seven. Oh. So yeah, for every six people you ask, you're going to get one yes. That's the average. Booking is a um, numbers game. It's 
the process and a numbers challenge. So what you want to do is for you want to book four parties. So you're going to ask for every one, for every six people you ask, you're going to get one yes. So how many people are you going to have to ask to get those four bookings for your six? Very good. Y'all are good. <laughs> we all are. I like it. We're on, we all took, we all okay, are so, so don't take, whenever you get a no, don't take it personal. That's taken me a very, very long time to learn. That they're not saying no to me. They're just saying no. And does it mean no never? Most of the time not. So you want to ask five times. You could ask somebody five times and they're probably going to say yes on the sixth one. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is where can you find the bookings? Where's the most natural place to find it? It's at your party. At your party. That's the easiest. Those are the people that you already know. So there's going to be three places. The people you know, which are at the parties. That's the easiest place to book. And then there's going to be somebody who comes to your party that you don't really know too well. You could talk to them about it. And then there's the people that you don't know, which are the people that you meet out and about. And I was thinking about this when Christine asked me this today, and I said, one of the things that I do a lot is I go to the grocery store, and I could buy, let's say, chicken, tomatoes, pasta, garlic, olive oil. What do you think I'm getting? <laughs> very good. I know how they recipe. Okay, very good. <laughs> Just more than one. But when I go to the grocery store, and that's specifically what I'm buying, the cashier normally says, oh, are you making pasta? So that kind of opens up your conversation to say, yeah, I'm trying this great, I'm making this great recipe tonight called chicken tomato pasta. It's, you can have it ready in 10 minutes. And she's like, really? And it kind of opens your conversation. Okay, I know in the checkout line, you don't always want to hold up the line, but that gets the conversation going. You could say, you know, I'd love to share this with you, something like that. What other wording could you use whenever you're in the line? Can you think of anything besides, I'd like to share this with you? Okay, yeah. When was the last time you came to a park? Have you ever been to a Pampered Chef party? Have you heard of Pampered Chef? Because not everybody has. There's somebody at my local food line that does not know about Pampered Chef. She asked me one day if I was a recruiter. Molly said no. I am. I said, well, you know, I like to share this business. I realized this today. And I've talked to this woman three or four times now. And I was like, why did I say no? So you are a recruiter. You have to show up as she was saying. But anyway, so you're in the grocery store line. That's one, you know, obvious place that you could, but where else can you meet somebody? Where else would you meet somebody? Church. Church? You meet them. Yeah. <laughs> Restaurants? Yeah. Your server. Right. Your servers? Right. I actually, when I go to the drive through and I'm like, hey, how are you? They're like, I'm good. I'm like, here's my business card and a book that you can please contact me. That's a tag right off. It's my business. <laughs>
a hundred that you could find booking. But be dream big, dream big. Just think of you know your dentist's office, your doctor's office, your um, where you work. You know, you make fun of me. <laughs> you know, just kind of mention it. I said I've got them. I I talked to him about it. One of the ladies was um, a friend of Santa Cruz's, and I was like, oh, I know Sandy, and we so we chatted about her. So you guys, you just and don't be afraid. Because you want to ask everything. I said this a couple of times. I said, I want to make her a business. <laughs> you, could, you could pamper a business. You can make her cute little fluted cakes and put it, take them in to them. But quick story. Before Christmas, I went to the post office a lot. A lot. So I had banana bread that I made. I put the banana bread into the post office. The postmaster emailed me and asked for bananas. I took two loaves to him. Of course, it's easy for them, but um, I took him two loaves, and I took him catalogs and said, let me know if you need anything. So that was an open, you know, so don't, don't discount your post office customers because they're like, I mean, I, I make, I use those little envelopes, those fancy little mailers, and this is Lady, she's like, I just love your envelopes. I'll have to share those with you guys. But they're just, you know, the ones I gave Christina have flamingos on them. And, um, but it's just fun. Make your, you know, your host packets, make sure you're going inside to your bank, too. That's another thing. If you get out of your car and go inside, you see more people. Uh, quick, quick. So, I like oh, it. and one thing. What is the special? Okay. And it takes you double free, then you get what money? $650. Okay, so it's double free for a $650 party. Okay, that means they're going to get $230 in free product. But if you talk to them about the business, they would get a $50 tip credit in definitely want to mention, you have to talk about that kick credit, you guys. I started, I can tell you, I started putting that in every single post packet I give out. Every single one. The idea of the sticker, Aaron, that was plastic, that I got to put that on there so that they ask me, because I always, I sometimes forget to mention it, but I have started talking about it. So, I have three hosts right now that are like sitting on the fence. So, three of them. guys mention it, you got to talk to your host. Your host is like, I mean, I think all of us have probably hosted a party at some point. So just kind of talk to them and just see what, you know, that's, that, and, oh, another thing. Rebook your host. If they don't sign, you can, you can book them up to six months. You can, um, you can, you can book them out. Like right now, if they want to, you can book them and say, oh, we're going to have a new season that starts March 1st. So, you know, just kind of look into that, too. Make sure that you're rebooking your host. That's about my, that's kind of where my booking is. Oh, perfect. Oh, right. That sounds like work. You know, you could also, um, any host for January, let them know that, hey, if you were to rely on me, you can book three again for a week later. Book three. You have one. Yep. Yep. Totally do that. Now, how many of y'all go and get your um, oil change? So, um, on a um, great, okay, put them right there. Ask your dentist, your physician's office, your mechanic, your beauty shop people, whatever. Ask them if you can leave catalogs and sign something. All right, so we're going to do something else. You'll all need a couple pieces of paper. If you have to use the back of something or if you need a piece of paper, I've got a couple pieces. Anybody need paper? Yeah. Anybody got paper? You can write on the back of those. Yeah. Okay. All of you on there, you're going to need 
at least two sheets of paper. Okay, y'all got your paper. Good, good, good. Oh, you need to rip it off and give it to me. Nope. Nope, this is for you. Just for you. Okay? Alright. Now, we are going to talk about goals really quickly. This is one of the last things we'll do for the evening. We are going to talk about something that is extremely important. How many of you um, would ever go to somewhere brand new and not know where you're going? Oh, God. What? Come on! I mean, so what I want you to do, I want you to think about something for a minute. I want you to consider that you and your family are going to pack up, you're going on vacation. Okay? You've made all kinds of preparations and plans. You have gotten a puppy sitter for your dog. You have planned out the meals that you're going to have on travel because it's kind of a long trip. Um, you've planned off where you're going to stop halfway in the middle of the trip. You might spend the night. You've planned out somebody to get your mail for you. Um, your neighbor's going to do that for you. Somebody's going to water your plants for you. You've got all of your I's dotted and T's crossed in preparation for your trip. Okay? You all get in the car. You've got your luggage put in the car. You've got everything in there. Um, you, everybody gets in. You've buckled your kids in. They've got their movies and games and crayons. Everything is all set for your trip. Okay? Open the garage door. You put the car in reverse, you back up the driveway, and you put it in drive, but where are you going to go? What if you did all of that preparation, and you had no address, you had no idea where in the dickens you were headed? You just kind of sat there and said, I'm not sure it's a pretty day out, where would you like to go? I don't know. Just <laughs> in the name of goodness would you make all these preparations and not know where you're going? It doesn't even make sense, does it? Everybody say no. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I wanted y'all to say. So your destination that you're going to plug into your GPS, your goal, where you're wanting to go, okay? We're going to teach you with a little exercise here in a second how to get exactly where you want to go. Because a lot of times we find that whether we go to conference, we go to trainings, we come to monthly meetings, or we see a cool training online or something, we participate in these things, we get all jacked up, we're jazzed up, we're like, woo, I made my list, I'm good, I got my new binder, I got all these things, I'm ready to go. <sighs> and then you're just like, doo, doo, doo. now what do I do? Okay, you light a candle, hoping for some inspiration, nothing comes, because you don't know how to get there. Okay, we need a map of how we're going to get, I'm glad you think I'm funny, Erin. We need a map of how to get where we're going. And think about this as well. Your family, each one of you, your family deserves for you to have a clear-cut plan of where you want to go. They deserve the benefit of us reaching our goals. Okay? They all deserve those benefits. So, most people don't set goals because they don't realize their importance, they don't know how, they fear failure, and they fear rejection, meaning others might be critical of their goals. My mother was extremely critical of me joining the Navy ship. She was not on board, but old Sylvia, she said, Creep, why are you going to do something silly like that? Ain't nobody going to buy nothing, ain't nobody going to book no shows for you. That's exactly the words out of her mouth, and in that accent, too. So, I was extremely defeated before I even got started. So most of us have the luxury of having supportive people around us. If you don't, that's why I think it's all important. Okay? So in your goals, they need to be SMART. We want to have SMART goals. Every goal should be SMART, okay? Meaning S stands for specific. You need to know exactly what you're going for. Not just like to make some more money. Oops. 
we do. Okay. Well, thank you. Now, what do you want? What specific dollar amount do you want? What specific color of carpet are you needing and desiring for your house? How many square feet of hardwood yeah, floor do you need? What type of couch are you wanting to get? Where are you wanting to take your kids on the couch? <laughs> your paper 1 through 10, I want you to list in 
any order, just random order, I want you to list your top 10 things that you would love to achieve in the next six months, personal and business. Okay? Here's a link to that. Top 10 things you'd like to achieve in the next six months. whatever you're struggling with at the moment. Um, but you should at least have 10. At least you might be like, I don't want to be sick. Um, so what I want you to look at, I want you to look at this list for a minute. There will be one item in your list, one goal, that if you achieve that goal, it would take care of the majority, if not all, of your other goals. Which goal is standing out as either your top goal, like if I achieve this one, this one right here, it will take care of my other three goals. Which one is it? I want you to circle that one goal that's going to help you achieve majority of the others. take care of my losing ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but meeting this goal I can continue to pay for my gym membership. Or I can't. So yeah, it takes care
care about this. There you go. I used to lose the count. But it won't stop me from putting it in my face. <clears throat> okay. So once you've circled that one, does anybody want to share what their circled goal is? I'll share mine with y'all in a minute. So Lisa wants to earn. Oh, you want to sell 6000 consistently every single month. I like that goal. That's a good one. That takes care of a lot of things on your list. There's a lot of things that have to be Yeah. Everybody knows this, but if you do 6000 Two percent bonus. Woohoo! That makes and a big difference. By doing that, if I, I can I and it does take care of them. I yeah. I did this the other day, but I did not remember. Because I had written down what my goal was. Mm -hmm. But I've already done I've already thought about it, so it's not so quick. <laughs> This does, it, it does, this does work. So take the time. So who else wants to share their circle goal? Let me ask you this one. Woo, we got a director here. Okay, I like that. That's a goal. That's a good goal. That's a nice red goal. Yeah. All right, who else has got a good circle goal? I did it with a full-time job. You can do it with a full-time job. I can do it with a full-time job. All right. Anybody else want to share? Anybody over here want to share? Circle goal? Karen, yes. Come on. I know. Oh, come on. My goals are so lofty. So what? What's your circle goal? I put my goals here. <laughs> Can't read it. Yeah, girl. Yes. <laughs> That's a lofty goal, though. <laughs> And it can happen. She wants to promote to senior director. That can happen to the But that takes care of all the other things in here for my goals. <laughs> it takes care of all your other goals. Absolutely. Anybody else want to share? That's a good one. I'm digging it. Eight parties a month. Woohoo! Woohoo! That takes care of a lot of stuff. That's for sure. Close. I'm digging that one. You're yeah, you had that. eight parties last month, sister. Close to that average. Yeah, she's fantastic for that. Digging that. That's a good goal. All right, anybody else? Anybody else want to share? Well, she knows what she has. So I will just tell you my, my top 10. I'll just go through them real quick. Lose 10 pounds. Pay off the car. Pay off my American Express. Refund my savings back. She has some savings in there. Add four recruits a month. <coughs> Um, earn 5,000 income every month, take Larry on a cruise, new counters in the kitchen, and add 10 bookings a month. My number, my circle goal was promote to executive director. So when that happens, when I promote to executive director, that means, Miss Thang, you will be enjoying a nice director promotion yourself. Some of the other ones of you will be from promoting to director two, earning additional income, which is awesome. Love that. So the last thing I want you to do is I want you to take your next piece of paper and I want you to take your circle goal and you're going to write it up at the tippy top. Whatever that goal is, you're going to write promote to director, promote to senior director, Aaron Byronet, promote to executive director, promote to director, whatever. Earn six thousand or uh, sell six thousand a month, earn five thousand a month, eight parties a month, whatever that circle goal is, you're gonna write it at the tippy top of your next page. Okay. okay. All right, and then on the left hand side, you're gonna number one through twenty. We won't take the time to go over this much, but I'm gonna kind of guide you through what you should be doing. So one through twenty. Mm -hmm. Can we have everybody mute again? <laughs> you have background.
background noise, if y'all can mute, that would be great. <clears throat> All right, so what you're going to be doing, you're going to do a few of them tonight, and then you're going to do the rest of them whenever, because one thing I will guarantee you is the first few will be easy. The middle part will be not that easy. The last few will be like, holy cow, what else am I going to write? What am I gonna write? So what you're going to be doing is you are going to be writing 20 things that you should do or should be doing or can do to get you to that goal. Okay, so take, take a few minutes to kind of write a few things that you can think of that would help you get to that purpose. to the gym or maybe it's to go get a gym membership. No. Is it to start talking to more people about the business? Is it booking more shows? What is it? that they are specific items, measurable, attainable, realistic, <coughs> and timely. And you need to make sure that you make three calls a day before noon or something like that. Or when you get off of work on your way home, I will make two post-coaching calls on my way home from work every day before I pull into the driveway. Before I get into my house, I will make three calls to lead on my way home from work every day. Those little steps pay off big time. Where you'll probably want to do some inner reflection. Start planning it, but if you do get stuck, some of y'all may not get stuck. Start right there. So basically, this one through twenty is your roadmap. This is your GPS direction to how you're going to get to that goal. What I'd like for y'all to do is to share your goal. the top few things that you think you need to do or that you are committed to doing in order to reach your goal within the next six weeks. Okay? Share that on Facebook. If you have to take a picture of selfie, that'd be even better than a little picture of selfie with it. I'd be thankful to do that as well. And a lot of us can achieve these goals by continuing to offer the job to other people. Offer doors, offer opportunities, this, we'll be feeding our whole world. Continue being a blessing to other people. Continue offering your services. Doing customer care, customer service for people is really the blessing. Because one of the things that I can um, attest to is that I have been to countless um, home-based business <coughs> parties. I've been to stores and shopped at Ted's Sweet. <coughs> business have I ever oh, she's mad. She's mad. Um, never have I ever been called except for one girl in one business asking how I like my item. Is there anything she can do to help me out? Is there anything that they could have done differently to enhance my experience or to whatever, you know? Anything. So 
only one girl has ever given me good customer service, and I will never forget her. I will continue. If anybody ever says, do you know of a who do you know rep? Absolutely, I sure do. Her name is this, and here she is. I will continue to refer her to anybody I know because she is amazing at customer service. Amazing. And she truly cares about her people. So when people can say that about you, you are a blessing to them. You are offering your needs and your services, or you're offering services for their needs. And so that's what we want to make sure that we're doing in 2018. We want to be a blessing to other people. And so we can offer a good job. We can offer products. Uh, awesome show experience with us, so many, so many things. Um, I actually took a training course on the show experience. If you get invited to do that, please do it. Um, it was phenomenal. I took some feedback back to them, and um, I learned a ton of things that I should be doing differently, and that I will um, do differently in 2018, and I'll share a little bit more about that with you all later. But um, for now, anybody have anything else they'd like to say? Get your clappers out. We got some. We got some stuff to recognize. Woo! I'm gonna recognize my my personal team first. You have your staff. Mine. Yeah. For I December. did a little over 2,300 sales. Sweet. So you got level with six parties. Ah, I got good. Two. Yes, you did um, six parties. Good. Some ads. So I can't really promote Yay. the fruits, but I'm talking to a few people right now. Good for you. I will have. Congrats. Them. I like it. I like it. Yes, clappers on there. Clapper, clapper, clapper. Get the clappers out. Let me get my clapper out there. I like my clapper. All right, look at that. Look at that. Uh huh. That's my clapper. Y'all like that? Aaron Burnout. Serve me one up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. All right, so for my personal team, who was active? Raise your hand. Who was active last month? Woohoo! With 150 or more. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Lots of folks, good job. All right, so those who sold 750 or more is where we're starting. So we have, all right, oh, what? no, hang on. All right, our number six in sales was 789.70 from one show is Jenny Sears. I thought she was gonna be on tonight, but yay, Jenny, hope you can watch the recording. And uh, number five in sales, God love them, um, it's like middle of the night or something over there. Here's Wong. So oh, there's wow. no way she could be on <laughs> right now. Um, but she had two shows, $838 in sales. So congrats to her. She's got a new booking as well, Niara Brown. So proud of you, my dear. And number four with a sick baby tonight, so she couldn't be here, unfortunately. But, man, she had a killer month. $1,368 in sales from two shows and one new booking is Adrian Wilson. I know she's going to be watching the recording. It's so sweet. She sent me a text while ago of her sweet little baby Jesus. He's sick. He don't feel good. And he has a little red face. I said, oh, oh, snuggle him for me. That's why I was texting over here. I was like, oh, snuggle him for me. Please give him a kiss. Our sweet little picture, baby. All right, number three in sales with 1734 from... Three cooking shows, two catalog shows, and two new bookings is Michelle Frost. She can be here tonight either. That's your heart. And again in Guam, number two. This is ridiculous. Nobody, nothing is supposed to be here. Um, number, <laughs> number two in Guam, Gene Williams. He'll be watching the recording from uh, two shows and one new booking. Woo $2,000. I love it. And our number one seller in our personal team from two shows with one new booking. Two shows, y'all. Two shows. Get this. Two shows. Two thousand five hundred sixty-three dollars wow. and fifty-five cents. Wow. Miss Kim Krause. She was on here just a minute ago. Now she's not. She's just it. All right. Now for the whole organization, out of everybody. So this includes all the directors, your teams, and everything. All right. Here we go. Y'all ready? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five. Number ten is Jenny Sears with seven eighty-nine seventy. Number nine is Niara Brown. Number eight is Adrian Wilson. Number seven, with 1,502 three shows, is Kathy Linder. Number six, 
was Michelle Frost with 1734. Number five, Clarence Williams with 2006. Number four, Kim Krause. Number three with $2,811 from four shows and five new bookings is Lisa McLean. <laughs> Number two with $5,046 from four shows, two new bookings, and two new team members is Erin Bruno. <laughs> And our number one seller with Girl, number one seller <laughs> with six thousand five dollars from eight shows and two new bookings is Emily Cole. <laughs> so proud of you, my dear. I'm so proud of all of you. You are all fantastic. You are all rock stars, and I cannot wait to see what January brings with that host special with the new consultant special and the double recruiting points, Holy Cannolis, look out, West Singer organization, because it is on like Donkey Kong this month. So, thank y'all for joining in. I appreciate y'all so much. It was so good to see every single one of y'all. And uh, I look forward to seeing y'all again very, very soon. Watch the team page for some updates and things like that. And I will be, um, every time somebody adds a new team member to their team, I'll be shouting it out. Because, yeah, you never know who's going to earn the bag, baby. Woo-hoo! It's four ones. Oh, yeah, I'll keep the tally for y'all. So we'll see who's going to be the. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Lisa reminded me that I need to mention spring launch. So January 29th, um, if you are local, of course, here at my house, we're going to be doing pajamas and pizza party. On the 29th for spring launch, you'll be seeing new products. Um, if you are not local, get with your director because they will be having the products. They will be having spring launch as well. Um, so make sure also they are doing a sweepstakes. So make sure you go on to Consultants Corner and register for spring launch so that you can be eligible for the sweepstakes. I did that within like two minutes. Yes, girl. <laughs> you got to. You got to. to. <laughs> have to register. Have to register. So make sure you do that. Um, if you do not have a director that's local to you, um, you can totally watch. Um, I will zoom it for those who do not have a local director. Um, but I think that's it. So January 29th, stay tuned for more details. Pajamas and pizza here. And then get with your director as well. Okay? Yay! Bye, everybody. Bye. See y'all. Is that at 6.30? Like